Hey guys, I'm Heidi, and today we are going to be ranking every reoccurring Zelda character. So if they're in more than one game, we're gonna be ranking them. If there's anyone that you think I've forgotten, left out that shouldn't have been, just let me know in the comments, and uh, maybe I'll do another one ranking every Zelda character, who knows? So, before we get started, let's take a look at our categories. We have Deserving of the Triforce at the top, of course, because that is the ultimate power in Zelda. Uh, second, we have Yahaha, which I feel like that's self-explanatory. Then for our neutral category, we have Better Than the Average Goron. I'm a little bit prejudiced against Gorons, what can I say? Uh, and then after that, You're Why More People Don't Play Zelda. If you're in that category, that's that's just facts. And then at the very bottom, we of course have simply asinine. So, let's get started. Alright, first off we have Anju, the chicken lady. She's in Ocarina of Time, Minish Cap, probably more games. I don't know. I haven't played all of them, and I haven't played a bunch of them in a long time. <sighs> Where would I put her? Uh, honestly? Her game making you catch all the cuckoos, I hated it. it. Drove me crazy. You know what, lady? You're why more people don't play Zelda. Next we have Beetle, who of course is in Wind Waker, Breath of the Wild, Skyward Sword, Minish Cap. Like he's everywhere. All right, where would I put Beetle? I. Definitely think he's better than the average core, and he's very convenient. Um, but would I say he's Yahaha? Nah, he's just better than the average core. Then we have Bigoron, which I would also say is better than the average Goron. Because, I mean, for one thing, he's huge, which is awesome. Like, if you see him, Minish Cap, he is literally the size of the mountain. Which is insane, and and he also gives you the mirror shield in there, so yeah, better than the average one. Uh, Bolson. If this was just from Breath of the Wild, he would definitely be simply asinine. I hated him in there, but he was definitely better in Tears of the Kingdom. <sighs> would I would I say he's Better than the average Goron, though? No, no, because you gotta include Breath of the Wild and, and yeah, Bolson, you're why more people don't play Zelda. Okay, then we have the Carpenters. They're in a bunch of the older Zelda games. The head Carpenter has a name that I don't remember and I'm too lazy to look it up, but they're, yeah, they're like on Bolson's level. Danbei the Gravekeeper. I don't know, he's actually in like a decent number of games, but he does not make an impression on me. I wouldn't say he's better than the average Goron. He's better than Bolson, so I'm just like, put him. You're still why people don't play Zelda. Okay, Dark Link. I actually wasn't sure whether or not I should put him in here because He's not really a character, like he doesn't talk or anything, but whenever I was looking up like Zelda recurrent character lists, he was usually on the list. And the lists were not all inclusive, like they didn't even include some characters that should have been there. But uh, that being said, I do think that he's like a really cool character. Um, like, the manifestation of the darkness inside of Link. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's better than the average Goron, but there's just not that much to him. Okay, next we have Daruk, and I should probably clarify at this point that, um, when I was figuring out which characters were in more than one Zelda game, I did include Age of Calamity in there because it is made partially by Nintendo, but I did not include 
the other Hyrule Warriors games because they were not, and I didn't include other non-canon games either. So, but that being said, because of that, all of the champions from Breath of the Wild are going to be on this list. Uh, okay, so, Daruk. Yes, he is better than the average Goron. You know what? I did like... I did like all of the champions in Breath of the Wild. I'm putting him in yeah haha. -ha. That's where he's going. Okay, Din. One of the three goddesses slash oracles, depending on the game. Uh she's honestly pretty badass. She's the creator of the Triforce of Power, which is pretty cool. Um So yeah. She can go up in uh in yeah -ha -ha. Epona! is deserving of the Triforce. That's all there is to it. Okay, Furore. Furore? I did also like, like, Din Nero and Furore, my first um, time seeing them was in Minish Cap, and they're just the three girls at the end. I don't know. I just, yeah, I liked all three of them. Next we have Fee, who, maybe shouldn't be on this list she only actually like physically is there in skyward sword but then like she's in the master sword talking to zelda in like breath of the wild so she's on the list uh i do actually kind of like her so my internet just cracked Oh, we're back. Cool. Okay, uh, right. Um, I do actually kind of like her, but I did find her quite annoying in Skyward Sword. So, um, which is the only game she's really in, but like, I was excited to see her back in Breath of the Wild. I don't know. Either way, still better than the average Goron. Better than Dark Link, in my opinion. Not that much. Okay, next we have Ganondorf. One of the most reoccurring characters. Also, I don't have that on this list. I'm not sure about that. Hmm. We'll add him in post. Okay, uh, yes, back to Ganondorf. I do like Ganondorf. I think he's a good villain. Is he deserving of the Triforce, though? I would argue no. No. Uh, I will. I will put him at... I will put him at... He's gonna be a Yahaha right there. Yep, that's where he's going. Great Deku Tree. Hmm. A lot of the lists didn't have him because he's like... A great spirit or whatever but he talks to you like in like the other ones don't have any kind of relationship with Link they barely talk to you or they only talk in like a different language the great Deku tree doesn't do that so he deserves to be on this list and he is also yeah like he just does he's pretty cool great fairy <sighs> Okay, so the picture included here is the Great Fairy from Ocarina of Time, I believe. Well, one of them. Um, which is really creepy. One of the creepiest. I would argue that the Breath of the Wild ones might be creepier. The fact that the Wind Waker ones having four arms are actually one of the less creepy versions. I should really say something, but... I'm going to put the Great Fairy, of course, in Simply Asinine, because... <laughs> okay, this video is taking longer than expected, so we're going to divide it into two parts. That's going to be it for today. See you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe for part two. Bye-bye.